Hello everyone. Let's discuss about financial derivatives. Financial derivatives are financial instruments whose value is depend upon the value of an underlying asset. So that is means the value of another asset. The another asset may be like an uh, unlike a shares. Financial instruments like shares or agricultural commodities or currencies. Everything can be an set as an underlying asset. So the financial derivatives are it is a contract between a uh, buyer and the seller in which one party agree to buy another party agree to sell an underlying asset at a predetermined price. So the financial instruments mainly most commonly traded financial instruments are shares, debentures. Bonds, currencies, interest rates, x and so on are considered as financial derivatives. Let's discuss about the features of financial derivatives. So, for, so the first feature of financial derivative is it is an instrument to hedge the risk which is involved in of an underlying asset, which is involved in buying and selling of an underlying asset whose prices fluctuates. Second feature of derivative instrument is to protect the market participants from the adverse price movement of the underlying asset. And also the derivative instrument facilitate the market participants to lock in at a particular price whose prices fluctuate. And also derivative instruments can be traded in stock exchanges and also through over the counter market or OTC market. When they are traded in stock exchanges, it becomes a legally binding contract between the parties that may be a buyer and seller. So they are able to legally, they have to exercise the contract on the set period. And also they can also be traded in an OTC market, OTC market and also f and segments in an organized stock exchanges. Next feature of derivative is that there should not be any existence without the prices of an underlying asset. So derivative instrument, the prices of the derivative instrument are based on the prices of an underlying asset. And also derivatives can be settled either through the delivery of the goods or through cash settlement. If in case of a cash settlement, the price differences that is adjustments in price different differences has to be adjusted and it also enhances liquidity in the capital market these are the features of financial derivatives let's classify the derivatives firstly let's classify the derivatives into price fixing derivatives and also price insurance derivatives first one is price fixing financial derivatives Price fixing financial derivatives are used in order to fix the price of an underlying asset or in order to fix the price a predeterminedly or before a future date they are fixing the price of an underlying asset. A example we can be quoted as futures, forwards, swaps. Here we are fixing the price in advance irrespective of the market condition or market prices. That is the first classification of financial derivatives. Second classification of financial derivative is it is a price insurance derivatives. So the best example which can be quoted is options. Options we are insuring the price like uh, in case of an option, option holder or the buyer has the right to exercise the contract on the maturity deck. So he here he can the option holder can exercise the contract on the maturity date or if at the, if uh, and on the time of the maturity date if the contract is not uh, favorable for him he is not need to exercise the contract so here we are insuring the price on the price which we can exercise the contract on the maturity date and also financial derivatives can be classified into otc market derivatives or otc market contracts and also uh, stock exchange contract or ETC contract, exchange traded contract. When we discussed about the over the counter contract, the contract are held between the buyers and part, buyers and sellers in which they are mutually agreeing at a particular price and on a particular date. So here OTC contracts, 
the examples of orticusi contract are forwards and swaps here they are tailored made contract or customized contract here the contract date is fixed or contract price and also the contracted security is fixed by the uh, buyers and sellers next type of classification of financial derivative is exchange traded contract or etc contract ECT, etc contract the contract are settled through an organized stock exchange which can be examples like uh, futures and options they are otc contract sorry they are etc contracts futures and options are ec etc contract here the asset prices period tick sizes and all other related matters are settled by the stock exchange a recognized stock exchange let's discuss about the styles of derivative contracts there are three styles of derivative contract first one is american style european style and asian style in case of an american style contract the contract can be executed on or before the maturity date so they are more flexible in nature second style of derivative contract a european style in which the derivative the contract can be executed only at the time of maturity and next classification of derivative style of derivative is asian style contract here the contract are executed at an average price or average date prevailing in a particular period so these are the three styles of derivatives first one is american style european style and asian style asian style here the average price or the average rate date or average period is considered as the uh, contract date let's discuss about the traders of derivative market these are the traders in derivative market hedgers speculators and arbitrages first one is hedgers hedgers are the major participants in the derivative market hedgers uses derivative instruments in order to hedge the risk for example in case of an exporter or importer they are exposed to the foreign exchange fluctuations so here they use uh, the currency as currencies to hedge the risk uh, they use the currency as an underlying asset to hedge the risk which is arises due to the foreign exchange fluctuations and also second type of traders is speculators speculators are one of the important player in a derivative market so the speculator use the derivatives in order to make the short term profit so they use the derivatives in order to make or in order to take the advantages of the price movement adverse price movements in the market so the speculators are market participant who are not exposed to any type of risk which is due to which is on account of the adverse movement of the adverse price movement of the underlying asset and the third type of traders are arbitrages so arbitrages they are the persons who take or who make or who simultaneously participate in two market that is on spot market and also in derivative market so here they take the price advantages that is the profit advantages that is price difference advantages they are taking in order to make a uh, profit so these are the traders in derivative market hedgers speculators and arbitrages let's discuss about the types of derivatives first type of derivatives are forward contract forward contract is one in which the buyer and seller they are enter into a contract that is a tailor made contract or customized contract in which one party agree to buy an underlying asset at a predetermined price on a specified date so the usually forward contracts are otc contracts here it is a tailor made contract that is the both the buyer and seller they come together and they fix the price and they on the fixed the price and also they fix a date for which they have to transact this uh, or they have to exercise this contract so they are usually a customized contract and also uh, it is an agreed it is an agreed between the parties both parties they are enter into a contract and they agreed at a price and which they have to transfer the asset here the delivery of asset has taken place next type of contract is future contracts 
So, the future contract are the standardized form of forward contract. Here, both the buyer and sellers, they are not required to meet each other. Through stock exchange, a recognized stock exchange, they come together and they uh, they agree to buy or sell an underlying asset on a predetermined price on a predetermined date. So here uh, it is a standards form of contract for future standard for futures are standard form of forward contract in which both parties agree to buy an underlying asset on a predetermined price on a at a predetermined date. So there are four types of future contract are there stock futures in order to deal with the shares, debentures, etc. And also commodity futures are there. Here we uh, we dealing with the or uh, trading with the rubber or uh, gold. These commodities are considered as the underlying asset. And also index futures are there. And basically BSC index, NSC index are considered as the index futures. And also currency futures are there. These are the four type of future contract. Next type of contract is options. Option here, option holder has the right to buy or sell an underlying asset on a specified date at the specified price. So option holder, they have the right to exercise the contract on a particular date. If they exercise the contract, if it is favorable for them, or uh, if the price movements are favorable for them, they, ex they will exercise the contract. If the price movements are not favorable for them, they will not exercise the contract. And while they have getting a right, they have to pay a certain amount as consideration. And this consideration is known as option premium or option price. So there are two types of options are the call option and put options. So the call option give the buyer the right not an obligation to buy an underlying asset on a specified date at a specified price so option holder or the buyer has the right to buy the underlying asset and next type of uh, contract option co option is put option put option in which the buyer or the option holder has the right to sell an underlying asset on a specified date at a specified price and the last type of derivatives are SWAP contract and the SWAP it is a bilateral or contractual agreement between parties to exchange the cash flow over a period of time. So here they are exchanging the cash flow. It is usually seen in uh, currency uh, currency swaps are there in order to uh, swap the currencies or the currencies uh, the, the difference in currency can be swapped. So the can it is a contract whereby the parties exchange agree to exchange the obligation that each of them have under the respective underlying contract. So swap is an agreement between the parties to exchange the cash flow over a period of time in the future. So these are the types of derivatives. Thank you.